Hello there. Welcome back to CNBC's Capital Connection. I'm Chloe Tro in Asia. And I'm Louisa Boyerson in Europe. We need to talk about uh, the market some more. Uh, let's talk to David Costa, Dean from the Robert Kennedy College. And he joins us all the way from Zurich, from Switzerland this morning. Uh, good morning, David. Um, we spoke to a guest earlier here on the program right at the top of the hour, and he was saying stay away from Europe right now. There is no reason to invest in, in European equities. You say that the events of the last week represent the very good buying opportunities uh, for investments in Europe. Yes, absolutely. I think that uh, fear is back into the markets, volatility is back into the markets, and that's the moment where investors should uh, potentially enter now at a much lower valuation. In terms of uh, other guests, I've seen that as well, but I think that many uh, guests do not really understand how Europe works. So for instance, when there were this image of Greece in a crisis, they just thought that this is going to be the same throughout Europe. And I think there is a lot of diversity throughout Europe. So investors need to understand that Europe is not just a single block, but there are notable differences among several country so now it is a good moment to buy at very good valuation especially those companies that have not been impacted at all in the last month sure there are differences in the bloc countries David uh, we all know that but uh, what has seemingly been quite hypothetical namely the risk of contagion isn't that a reality now that we're looking at this downgrade to Spain uh, to a double A plus from Fitch I don't think so. I mean, I always take uh, those ratings with a pinch of salt because I remember that those were the rating agency rating at the top level uh, mortgage asset in the past. So yes, I think there are some relative concerns about uh, sovereign debt, but I don't see a strong level of contagious throughout Europe. And if I look at a portfolio uh, of some sectors I recommended in the past today, I always ask myself, what did it change in the last month? And I think very little because some of those companies are really present globally and not just in Europe. And a weaker euro will help a lot of companies to their exports. So Absolutely, is, David. Uh, a weaker uh, euro. Uh, still, I don't think, I think it's overplayed. You know, David, you know, I want to agree with you on that. You know, certainly a weaker euro will help many of the French and uh, German exporters. But if France uh, possibly loses its AAA rating, then that's an even better buying opportunity for you? Uh, obviously, it's very difficult to predict uh, what is going to happen in terms of ratings and if there are going to be more downgrades. Uh, but yes, I still think that uh, if uh, it happens, another downgrade of France, which I don't think is likely, that if that happens anyway, it will still be an opportunity to buy because over the long term, I don't see America as being uh, in a such a better position than Europe, which has pretty much been the story on the last weeks. So it's really becoming the battle of who is uglier. Is it the U.S. or Europe? Then where does Asia fit into the picture? Well, I think Asia has now uh, gone to, to many of the sectors to a pullback, but over the long term, Asia is still going to be the engine for growth. And when I think about Europe, and when I say that Europe is a good buying opportunity, I was particularly looking at this company, which have a strong export and a strong presence in Asia, because that is essential to ensure global gro growth in the future. Is the euro going to continue to weaken? It's very difficult to predict. I'm not a currency expert. Far from that. That said, I think that even the euro has been over overdone, and a stronger dollar is not going to impact the U.S. Uh, always positively in the future. So I think we are reaching a bottom, but it's not for me to call a bottom. David, thanks a lot. Uh, we won't push you then. David Costa, Dean for the Robert Kennedy College, joining us very early out of uh, Zurich. Uh, European.